welcome back to another video of H&H &H Express Model and Skill Trains. In the holiday season I was working on the layout and I noticed something. That some of my electronics which I built in the past has not been connected yet. And the reason for that is I don't have enough ports on my laptop to control all the nodes which are on the layout. So, I thought, well, how can I solve it? Because I have a section which is the shadow station, and that shadow station that has switches and sensors, or turnouts and sensors, and they all need to be controlled. The control is there, but it's not hooked up. So, I thought, well, I'm gonna hook it up to the laptop and then control them via JMRI as I do with the other turnouts which are on the main layout. But that was not possible. I came short out of serial ports. And I know you can use RS-485 for the communication with a bus line where all nodes are connected to. But I know that that is not flawless. So there will be issues when you do that and when you have a lot of nodes attached because don't forget Codyville and Buddytown every building is a node a CMRI node so it's a lot of traffic and I thought you know what I'm gonna do something different so I looked it up on the internet if somebody came to a resolution on how to use CMRI nodes in a different configuration. So yes, there is an option. You can use Wi-Fi. You can use an ESP32 module and then configure that one as CMRI and then configure your JMRI that it uses the network over Wi-Fi and then control it there. And the channel who brought it to my attention is from Wirenwood or Wirenwood Model Railway and I put the link to his channel down below in the description so you can look it up for yourself and what he did he investigated if it was possible to use the ESP32 as a Wi-Fi CMRI node and then control the network and that would be great because I have here a Wi-Fi environment and then I can hook up that node, just put power on the node, don't have to worry about it and then control it over JMRI. And for debugging I can always connect the serial port or the USB port to that ESP32 and then check if I need to do a reprogramming. So I thought you know what, I'm going to use his method, so links are up here somewhere in the corner or in the description below, so you can see for yourself how he did that and how he managed it and how he set up the whole section. And it's not only with the help of Wirenwood or Wirenwood Model Railway, but also the person who wrote the CMRI library because you need to adapt it a little bit and Wirenwood, uh, Wirenwood described it in his video. So this is the control board which we're gonna work on. Here are the relays for the snap switches of the shadow station. This is the controller to control the relays. This is the CMRI node which we're gonna replace. And this CMRI node, which is having the sensors connected for the shadow station, will also be replaced because it will be combined on this ESP32 module. I also will add a PWM controller, but that is to control the servos of the turnouts on the staging yard. So, let me remove this all, and I'm going to bring you back when I have rewired the top section so we can test it. So here you can see that I changed it 
I added the ESP32, I added the PWM motor driver, the 16 port is still there. I added as well a 8 port adapter here, but this section is currently not configured. And here you can see the three servos which will be underneath the staging yard at that end. But I added them here so we can monitor them as well when we do the test. So again, the relays to control each turnout. So we have turnout number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10. I currently removed the 12 volt so that the turnouts won't react but you will see that each turnout will be controlled. There is no other connection to it as just a 5 volt on the ESP32 so we don't have any output over here. This LED is the heartbeat LED and that will be blinking when JMRI is controlling the node. So let's go to the computer and show you from the start of when I start Panel Pro that the node will become active. So here we are at the computer and you will see the live link as well here and I will start Panel Pro. This will start the whole module or the track and you will see that the node heartbeat LED will start blinking. It's now building up all the tables uh, like Buddy Town, Codyville, uh, the train station. And later on we will come into the turnout signals. So in the background you see that the uh, layout is visible. So we all go through that. So here you see the turnout table. So let me bring that to the front. And let me small this one because you don't have to see it all. And then here at the side, you will see the live feed of the new section of the control panel. And as mentioned, the control panel is now equipped with an ESP32 running over Wi-Fi. And you can actually see that ESP32 Wi-Fi turnout. And it is connected over my IP address to port number 9007. That is how I set it up. These are all the turnouts listed. I have the old turnouts in there as well. They are currently in an unknown state. I usually run a script to set them all to a predefined state, but I disabled the script for now. So let me scroll down to the bottom and you see that I added the same turnouts. So shadow station turnout number one, but it has a Wi-Fi username behind it instead of the shadow station turnout 01 without anyone. This is the old version and the Wi-Fi is the new version. So now let's put the feed back up so that we can see what the board does. And as you can see, there is only a five volt connection towards the ESP, so five volt in ground. There is no other control. It really runs over Wi-Fi. So let's set it to close. You can't see anything because by default all the relays are off. So now let's set it to diverted. And you see that the relay blinks. And now set it back to close. That is the other one which is going down. We're going to do that with the other one as well. So with turnout number two. See it turns and it closes. At least the relay does. As mentioned, I didn't put any power on the turnouts. I have 
some snap switches which are broken which I need to repair. Let's do it with uh, number three. So you can see I can control the turnouts or at least the relays which controls the snap switches over Wi-Fi. And number five, that works as well. Number six, that works as well. And then we have number 10, which goes actually to the staging yard. So, and that is the most right uh, relay. Then we have, of course, the staging yard turnouts. There are three of them. I have four tracks and those are controlled by servos. So let's uh, put them to a default state and let's watch this servo itself. You see that the top servo switches and now it should be back in that position. We're going to do that with number two as well. And we're going to do that with number three as well. So what I also did, I added a sensor, which will be bringing the sensor or actually the heartbeat from this uh, Wi-Fi module back into JMRI. So let's move the sensor table up front. Uh, here you all see the sensors for the blocks which means when there is a train detected then the block becomes active like for example here block number 10 that is currently active and at the bottom you see a YS1001 that is a heartbeat and that heartbeat is flipping from active to inactive and if you're looking closer on the live feed it has the same rhythm as the heartbeat LED, which means I can monitor this. I can put it on the uh, layout overview and I can just see, okay, my Wi-Fi modules are communicating with JMRI, which helps. So this is this video. I'm not going into the script which I wrote, but I put the link to the GitHub page at the bottom in the description below. And if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, or if you would like to get some more information on how to write a script for a CMRI node, then let me know in the comments and I will make a video of it. So that is it for this video. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.